<laughs> Are you ready? Yes. My bed's a little more big than yours. Hey everyone, I'm Zach Harold. I'm Hannah Harold. And you're listening to Archery Maniacs Gear Review. So today on the chopping block, titanium archery product stabilizers. So we've been shooting them for gosh, I don't know, last six months? Longer maybe? than that. Yeah. I maybe. started shooting them in San Diego. It's probably eight or nine months now. Yeah. And we really enjoy the stabilizers. Uh, we enjoy the company itself as well. Sam and Dusty are both really great guys. Uh, and they definitely have the customer in mind. For Absolutely. Sure. It's, it's that small company feel. They're a fairly new company. And they make sure their customers get the service they need. Which is huge. Which is huge. So, you know, you notice being a target shooter and everything like that, you noticed a lot more of a difference than I did because obviously my stabilizer isn't 30 yeah, I've inches got long. A little bit more stabilizer than him on my bow. So. Yeah. <laughs> so kind of walk us through a little bit of the difference that you noticed and then we can kind of get into the construction of the stabilizer itself. Yeah, so I used to shoot a carbon fiber stabilizer. Uh, I shot one front stabilizer and one back stabilizer. I've recently switched to the V-Bar. Um, but when Dusty and Sam first reached out to me with their product and said, hey, you know, we have a titanium stabilizer. You should try shooting it, see what you think. Well, I, being someone who's studied science for my whole life and love my research, went to the range and did a test, basically. I took my old carbon fiber stabilizer, shot at 20 yards, where 20 yards, if you see a difference, it's gonna be, it means there's a significant change on your bow, right? Because you're usually 20 yards, you're smack in the middle. And I took my old carbon fiber stabilizer, shot a certain number of shots at 20 yards, uh, switched to this new titanium archery product stabilizer, did the same thing and kind of went back and forth and took pictures of my groups. And just from that first time testing them out, I could see a visible difference in my group sizes on the 20 yard target. Uh, with this tap stabilizer, my group sizes were tighter, closer to center, the bow held better, it was steadier. So on my target bow, even at 20 yards, I noticed a, an immediate difference when I tried the titanium stabilizer versus a carbon fiber. That's awesome. And what did you notice as far as hand shot goes? So much quieter, so much damper, just all around less hand shock on my bow. Um, the bow just felt dead in my hands. And I already didn't feel much hand shock, but switching to the tap stabilizer, there was a noticeable difference. Like I said, not only in the, in the group size, but in how it felt in my hands. That's awesome. You know, one of my favorite things about tap is that I can call them up and I can say, I want a 17 and a half inch stabilizer that is black with blue letters and I want my logo on it and they will customize it for you. Mm -hmm. So for instance, what I had them make is I had them make a 16, Jesus, I had them make <laughs> a 16 inch tight front bar, titanium element X bar. So the difference between their element X and their elite hunter is the element X is five eighths and in the elite, diameter, in, right? Yeah. And the Elite Hunter is, I believe, one inch. So it's yep. just bigger around. I went with the Element X on my hunting bow because I want the least amount of wind surface possible when I'm out hunting. And in Wyoming, anyone that knows, <laughs> it's slightly windy as you can tell. You can see tell the trees behind us right blowing. <laughs> so that's probably my favorite part. My least favorite part is the screw insert. Um, when I very first started testing their products, uh, the machine company, not even, not even tap because they don't do their own machining. The machine company was not able to get the screw insert into the st stabilizer straight. And therefore when you were screwing it in, it would wobble as you screwed it in. And then once it was tight to your bow, it'd be like sitting off, <laughs> off like this. And they have since really, uh, I th don't know if they switched guys or whatever they did, but they have since tightened up their tolerances a lot better. And they're not perfectly straight, but they are way better than they were before. And that allows for more than just looks. That allows for the stabilizer to be transferring energy in the direction that it's supposed to be transferring energy rather than offset or whatever else on your bow. So that's a big deal. A lot more than you would really think. Um, it's obviously tough. It's made out of titanium, you know, and I am hard on things. <laughs> Tell me about it. Right. Like he should be the product tester for every product out there. <laughs> that is the true test of a product's durability. Yeah, I am like super hard on things and 
they're just they're tough you know um they've also went through a lot more uh vigorous process on their paint coating to make their paint coatings a lot tougher as well um like my mine is a matte black finish it's a powder coat where hannah's is a lot different yeah. style mine is just the raw titanium with a clear coat over it and kind of little extra sparkle for me i like seeing it sparkle in the sun but that's another that's another testimony to their customization um not to switch topics but it's kind of like maven optics where you can literally pick from thousands of different customization options same here you can pick it on length color stickers whatever you want they can put it on this tableizer they colored the front portion of mine here whereas zach's is black you can get whatever powder coater or powder uh coating you want whatever color it's it's just really you can match it to your bow perfectly yep and then on top of it their their stabilizers also have a compound on the inside to help with the dampening and everything like that um and it's actually one that sam schaefer himself designed so if that's something you want to learn more about uh feel free to look him up on facebook he loves discussing it or just head on over to their website titaniumarcheryproducts.com um other than that there's not really much i would change about the stabilizer itself like once again i definitely like the element x the skinny profile stabilizer um i mean as you can see five eighths of an inch next to my index finger i mean it is really really small and that to me is a huge plus i honestly like the looks of it as well especially when you're shooting a target bow when you have 30 inches of stabilizer on the front or more i prefer a 30 inch there's target shooters that have a 34 inch stabilizer or longer when you have that much on front of your bow and you're holding your bow straight out and you've got literally feet in front of you of stabilizer you don't want something that's huge and catching on the wind and this 5 8 inch diameter does not catch on the wind at all you don't feel any difference in your bow blowing around in a heavy wind absolutely and last thing i will say about the company is like i say sam and dusty are good guys so if you get a stabilizer say this one for instance if i'd have got this stabilizer in and been like man that's just way too long i they would have been like yeah send it back we'll do whatever you need and they wouldn't have charged me for a whole nother stabilizer they would have charged me whatever you know 20 bucks or whatever just to fix the one that i already have and they'll also buy stabilizers back from you so if they come out with an upgraded model and you want that if you're willing to send in your old model they'll buy it back from you and put it towards the cost of your new stabilizer which is huge um once again they're just a small company that's willing to work with you and they produce an awesome product and that's pretty hard to beat yeah i i mean i would just say ditto to all of that i i think a lot of people are hesitant to try something new i mean there's no titanium stabilizer out there other than tap they're really the first titanium stabilizer product on the market and when everyone is so used to carbon fiber you know that's what all the pros shoot that's you know what people are winning worlds with that's what people are shooting these you know world record class elk and deer with why would you switch to titanium but it's it's worth it's worth trying it's made a huge difference in my shooting i feel more confident shooting it it's durable i haven't chipped them once my carbon fiber stabilizers have multiple chips on them um really all around a 10 i'd say yep absolutely for you hunters give it a try all i can say is is having this small profile extremely durable stabilizer that you can customize to whatever length you want is going to change your hunting game so what i recommend it to a friend absolutely is it tough on a scale of one to ten it's titanium it's a 10 <laughs> all right the, i don't know how you could break it and when i say that that's like i've broke the unbreakable like spot hog sites i've broke them two or three times before right so i broke the unbreakable mm -hmm. and these things are tough do you get what you pay for they're no more expensive than anything else on the market except for they perform as good or better so give them a try check them out mention archery maniacs and they might even give you a deal that's titaniumarcheryproducts.com link will be in the bio um, so thanks for tuning in guys we really appreciate it thank you